Badoof. Hello. Hello. I paid Hello. for that. Cool <laughs> vibrations. I hope you all had a lovely week. Yes. So, yeah, we come back in with Ovec lying through the bar. Uh, Emu, uh, what did you say you did at the end there? Sorry, Emu. Um, I, I know you said something. but um, Well, I was just wanting to go quickly unlock the door and let okay, okay. sort of sound. All right. Um, as you like, okay. So as the the as didn't the caretaker, he go down the stairs, though. yeah, he did oh, go. Down I the started time. going down the stairs, but didn't actually like. I only took like right. one step. Right. Further okay. Than the actual guy. So as the as the guy kind of runs past you on the stairs, downstairs, and witnesses of it, which we'll come back to in a second. You head up, um, up the stairs. Um, I think maybe you pause for a moment. As as you kind of like maybe process what's just happened down the stairs. <laughs> um Actually no, I think we'll deal with that just now. Um the the, the caretaker comes downstairs and sees Ovec lying and goes, well, What is what is happening here? And this gonna start getting up apologizing profusely, just like sorry, so so sorry, I'm sorry. I did, I just tripped. I'm sorry. <laughs> we, we... I think he just My like, breakfast <laughs> I say I just like I think it might be better if I just like uh, wait outside. Um, sorry. I think he he just kind of stares at you blankly as he gets like redder and redder and redder, um, and you kind of see his like eyes, like like the color in his eyes fade, um, as a skin. I would goes. like to rage. <laughs> and the the poor the poor carpenter just collapses on the floor, uh, not carpenter caretaker. <laughs> Uh, collapses on the floor. Everyone's a bit shocked. Well, we are going um, to need carpenter. <laughs> uh, Dick Doglio and uh, Gorm. This has just happened, obviously. What are your What are your um, thoughts, feelings, and what are you going to do? Well, my, my 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 general reaction as to a lot of things this game. It's just been a very loud bellowing, what the fuck? <laughs> and, I, and I think that's quite appropriate in this situation. <laughs> so I'm going I to mean... put my foot down, slam my pint on, the, on what's remaining of the bar and say, what the fuck? That's, do you know what? That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> it's on brand. Yep, it's on brand. <laughs> <laughs> I just look at him and stare, but continue eating as if nothing has happened yeah okay <laughs> that's fine um as uh, i think like a lot of the staff come over to try and like you know fan him back awake and make sure he's not dead um uh i guess you pick yourself up. Uh, do you do you go outside of it is that what you yeah yeah cool um so yeah emu you, you you go up the stairs and you you head up to the to the door do you do you just unlock it and open it or do you do anything before or yeah, just quite and try and quickly unlock it and and get the door open. Cool. Yeah, yeah I think... I'll walk out if I hear the, the door jingling. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um. I'm, 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 I. Maybe maybe um. Yeah, maybe as 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 um he's kind of like maybe tries like a couple keys. Um, Emu, you hear like the the door. Um, further down the, the corridor um, towards your room um, open um, and like maybe maybe you kind of like look up and you see Tilda just standing at, at your, your room door I think I'll just um, see it down the corridor to you maybe like, should I worry about the racket downstairs I I think that the racket was in our favour this time. I see. I think I'll just like motion to like walk downstairs and then go downstairs. Cool, brilliant. Um can I lock the door again? You certainly off. can. Um yes, yeah, so uh, my impression well, I, I was obviously my impression was that you never got the door open. Yeah, it that, was that you were sort of... checking to find the right key to open it, and I walk yeah. out of our original room. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, so yeah, um, you, that that happens. You go downstairs. Uh, Tilda, Me. could we jump back in time a little bit? Sure. Um, to when you're in your room, right? As all this ruckus is going on, you you go to like um meditate and you know uh-huh. rest up uh-huh. a little bit. As you're meditating, um, you get a sort of a, a sort of like um I don't want to say a vision because it's not a vision. Okay. But like a, like a sort of like mental like scene kind of plays out. Maybe maybe like a couple loops. And um, you kind of like see T, um, you're like in the church and he's walking towards you. But the like church seems to be like an endless, like stretch like corridor like a runway or a corridor. Mm-hmm. Um, and like in all the pews are kind of like stretching out uh, forever. And as like T is walking towards you. He doesn't get any closer. He just kind of like seems to be like standing there, um, but like walking walking towards you, but like not moving any closer. Like on a conveyor belt type thing. Yeah, like a conveyor belt. The wrong way. Um, okay. But like the. Um, it's Jamiroquai. Yeah, and I like yeah. I think like a conveyor belt, like the the actual church is like moving with his steps, like stretching away, um, and getting like longer and further away. Like the back of the the church is going further away. Um, and then like all of a sudden. Um, he stands still and then like the whole world kind of just rushes towards you um, mm-hmm. and like becomes nothing and, and then maybe you just like that that happens like maybe twice and then doesn't happen at all oh, okay. for like the remainder of your, your like little rest um, do I feel like I'm just witnessing this like I'm imagining it or do I feel like I was there Um, I think like at the time you feel like you were there but like as soon as it's done it feels like it was just something you'd you'd like you'd just like sort of thought up perhaps yes exactly like Jamiroquai <laughs> 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 right okay um, yeah I don't know how I would take that to be honest um, did I feel any kind of like malice in the vision no it's literally just like um I think I think it probably just feels a little unnerving. There's it doesn't seem like there's like an evil presence projecting that into your head or mm. um or a good yeah, presence just, projecting that into your head. It just seems to to be there. I think I just continue my short rest and meditate more until yeah, I hear the jingling yeah. keys. Yeah. Right, and yeah, and then that scene obviously mm-hmm. happens. Um yeah, so you, you, you uh, did you say you head off downstairs? Yeah, I just nod to, like, Emu as if, shall we? That's probably what I walked That's exactly to. what you walked down to. <laughs> 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 oh, my goodness. Um... Let me just prep that one image that I have for this, which is the shocked Tilda face. The fuck oh, am I brilliant. looking at? <laughs> So yeah, as you come down the stairs, you obviously see uh, an ovex shaped um, hole in the bar, um, mm-hmm. or an ovex sized piece of bar missing, um, and breakfast you know everywhere. breakfast everywhere. Uh, Dig Doglio and um, Gorm are you know hoarding their 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 food and eating it, and you know Dig Doglio is drinking his two pints. Um. So yeah, <laughs> what does what does everyone? Sort of do Emu, do you sort of follow down as well? Oh, mind you are muted. Thanks. Um, <laughs> I would <laughs> um, just bef- as um, Tilda starts going downstairs, I'd just like to have a one quick look into the, the room and just check that nothing had changed. Which room? Um, y- your room or the no, the the locked room. Okay, so you're gonna unlock it and then have a peek in. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I as like, as you fiddle with the keys, then um, I think I would stop and I'd be like, "You should put them back before he notices they're gone." And then I just walk down the stairs and leave you to do whatever you do. I think I'll keep um keep looking in. Okay. Um, like I, I wasn't gonna go in, just literally unlock it, open it a, a little bit, and see what's inside. 
Imagine I was still in there. That'd be creepy. Yeah, you open the door. You see Tilda is sitting, waiting for you. What the... took you so long, Emu? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's it's kind of as you left it. The other than the fact that the the little flap is open, uh, to the to the in between walls. Um, other than that, it's you know as messy slash destroyed as it was previously. Can I just use my my staff so that I'm not actually like going into the room much, but just use my staff to close the the flap? Uh, yeah, That's you can, like... kind of need to take like a a few steps in. Um, like I said, the flap's closed. Like that was closed, so he didn't see you when I was. Oh, in did room. you close that? Sorry, then it's not open. I okay. do apologize. Yeah, yeah, then never mind. No, yeah, because I made sure <laughs> I made sure like I tapped on the door to like, or the wall as well when he was talking yeah, to me right. to right. be like, you know, just listen to the fact that somebody's obviously in the room with me just now and keep quiet. And just wait yeah, just, just, just here. I'll I'll close the door again and lock it back. Follow down the stairs. Yeah, that's fair. Cool. Yeah. So yeah, you you come down. Obviously, you see them. Um, well, what you see. Um, what do I see? Is the guy like you said he was out cold, or what? He's out cold, like the... so. This like that he's um uh, like, you know the. Like some of the staff have kind of like started to like take him to the back room. I think he's just like maybe just getting regaining consciousness now at this point and getting up. Um, mm. See, and... does Emu have enough time to put the keys back before, if Emu would do that? I mean, but obviously, like before he wakes up. Uh, yeah, he'd definitely have enough time. She. She, sorry. Sorry, Alexander. Um, Alexander would have enough time to act as Emu to to replace the keys um, <laughs> if if that was what her, her character would do. His character? His character would do, oh my goodness. <laughs> it's really difficult. Isn't it? <laughs> it's a minefield. Um, no, I, I think I just keep them, like, in a in a pocket. <laughs> Don't actually bother. Okay. So, well, like again, don't change what you're doing if you have a plan. But the reason I'm doing that is because obviously I didn't need them to get out. So if you have them when he wakes up, it's obvious you let me out. If he finds out that I have them. Yes, but if he doesn't have them, he knows somebody used them to get me out. <laughs> Especially given the chaos of the stairs. <laughs> Um, but he also doesn't know when he lost the keys. True. Except it was after he locked me in. True. Yes. But that's, again, that's purely the way I'm just wondering sure how I'm thinking as a player. Um, you still do whatever, obviously, you would do. But I, I think Tilly just goes down and, I guess, asks someone for tea. Yeah, I think um, somebody kind of like. Um, just nods to you and uh, like apologizes for the the mess. Um, I'm deleting that. Mango. I'm gonna just say that's quite okay. Um, and then uh, just like smile politely and just sit at the the non destroyed part of the bar. Yeah, I think it's the same the same um same serving girl that you you seem to have um complimented yeah, like you before as well. Like I think she's just like sees you and automatically goes to you as like her her regular. Um, does she have like? She was what like teenager ish, young adult ish. Yeah, young or young adult ish, like sort of like maybe maybe kind of like seventeen to twenty. Does she like have her hair in her braid, or is it like all kind of, like? I think it's, I think her like as she's working, her hair's like up in like a, a sort of bun type thing, um, just so like her hair's like the way of food and stuff. Like she's just yeah. quite. Like this, this isn't the nicest place, but it's not so dingy that you'd have hair in your food and stuff like that, you know. And I think I just small talk as soon as like she kind of notices me waiting for tea, and she's like, "Oh, sorry," and I say, "Oh, don't worry. Obviously, it doesn't bother me." I just say, "I love what you've done with your hair. It's so practical." And then I, I, I kind of just smile. I think she would just like reach up and like kind of. Um, I think she would just like like smile like a little bit like like what the corner of her mouth would like smile. Uh, sorry, what was that? I and I just say back to her as well. It's like I can never quite get minds right, and just kind of like drink my tea, <laughs> just to see what she does. Back. I think I think she I think she like awkwardly like laughs as you know like when like 
somebody somebody makes a a joke obviously about themselves you know and, and someone's like oh i don't know if i should laugh at that because it might be inappropriate because i don't know you that like as a person if, if she's looking at my eyes or anything to get an indication i'm clearly teasing right like it's 100 yeah. percent obvious I, right um i think you would see that like minute. thought process on her face um for like maybe a, a, a good half second and then she'd like um just like laugh laugh like um probably a bit more than than you'd expect her to laugh um not more but like louder and <laughs> um yeah maybe unexpectedly yeah um and she just goes um well it's yeah it's it it doesn't you know take much effort to stick it up and then she like thinks of the words that she says and then goes <laughs> like does that sigh thing going oh my goodness i should never mm. open my mouth ever again i hate myself ah. i think i just like sip my tea more uh, and then she just kind of like half like curtsies and goes mm. off into the kitchen perfect and i just just pivot on the stool and just look at the disaster that is the place i guess and wait to see what happens next yeah, um, Dig Doglio and Gorm, what are what are yours? What are you up to? I literally just got back from the oven. Oh, What's Gorm, what are you up to? In the past thirty seconds. <laughs> um, Tilden had some small talk with with one of the bar staff. Okay. Yeah, so you've missed nothing. I've just come downstairs, ordered tea, and then whatever you were doing is now what we're asking. Yeah. Um, I'm probably just still eating. Um. I bought a lot of food, so you did buy a lot of food. Um, I think maybe um, someone like behind the bar would like see that you've you've probably been eating for like a reasonable amount of time, and mm. um, I think um, they would kind of look at the like having seen that your companions with the big giant um, man who just fell through the bar. Um. I'll also order something to eat, so I've had breakfast and whatnot as well. So I've definitely eaten something. Oh yeah, yeah, that's that's totally fine. Um, uh, and yeah, I think he would just say, <clears throat> you know, we can bag this to go if you wish. Oh nonsense! I'm I'm, I'm enjoying myself. This is good good food, good breakfast. Why would you suggest that? Uh. The no, no, and he'd like kind of like look at the destruction of the bar. <laughs> no, no I think I just reason. Look at it too, and then not react. Uh, and then he would like look at Dig Dog Leo and he'd go, y "You, would you like me to, um, you know, bag up your 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 breakfast?" Well, uh, I'd, I'd like to think I'm just about finished my uh, sausages and beer now, and I'm gonna go outside <laughs> for some fresh air and to see what. The yeah, can I follow? Is. Can I follow? Dig Dugly outside as well. You actually. certainly can. So, um, yeah, well, uh, Ovik. You yeah. Are you just kind of like standing outside, maybe sitting on the step, um, kind of watching people go by? Yeah, I'm sitting on my barrel that I sat on the other day. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, as um, at that point, you kind of see the door open. Dig Dugly steps out, till then, uh, kind of following. I Star Wars nod. Then. Dun, I dun. rest my hand briefly on your shoulder and nod back and keep walking. I'm gonna follow Tilda. Yeah. Okay. Um. What? What sort of like? Are you, do you just like kind of walk off Tilda, or are you just kind of just stepping? Well, I'm going somewhere, but I wonder what like what's Dixie up to? Because I kind of I'm on his coattails just now. If that makes sense, RP wise. Yeah, yeah. so. Well, pretty much, I'm stepping outside to do scone bike things. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a bit of a thieving knacker, so I'm, I'm looking for people to thieve off of. Oh, jeez. Leave me alone, okay? I think no. I think... This. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> As I see him sort of like scheming in his head, it's like, there's only so much I can cover you from. <laughs> oh no, not again. <laughs> <laughs> Here I go stealing again. <laughs> oh boy, here I go killing Looks again. at your hands and just sighs. Why must I steal? Actually, you know oh. what? So, so, <laughs> is, is there any stray dogs? 
Yes, there's the one. There's um, <laughs> there's scrappers. Scrapper, whatever, whatever the fuck, yeah. Uh, whatever the fuck we call that one right there. Scrappy D. Um, yeah, it's the it's the town favorite. It's like he's he's a stray dog, but everyone knows knows who he is. People would notice if he went missing. Okay, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not talking about. Okay, 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 fair enough. Is we there can any die in inside. Is there any, le- is there any lesser-known stray dogs I can be friends with my sausage? And <laughs> there is. The phrase, is there any lesser-known stray dogs? Is amazing. <sighs> um, <laughs> as as like for you, as far as you can see, there is only one stray dog. There's a couple of um like people who have like pet dogs, uh, that that are kind oh, of like walking. You can always um, steal a dog. <laughs> you I wouldn't download a dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. I'm glad you got it. <laughs> <laughs> We've obviously RP'd enough to get into sync. That's what it is. Um, right, so if he's going to be like potentially causing a massive bit of chaos, I am I'm obviously not hanging with him. My plan is to go to the carpenters that I know, obviously, like a uh, woodman yeah, yeah. or woman and a uh, woods person. Because I want them to go fix the bar because uh, I want to go like make sure all that gets like handled without the bar guys worrying because they've been nice to us so I'll go yeah be that's nice fair um, yeah so like the you know the carpenters like up from yep. the, the, the like just a little bit up from the blacksmiths uh-huh. um, Greta, and... Greta the woodsmith Greta the, the, the wood... <laughs> <laughs> to go with our similar naming scheme Greta and uh... her daughter Grotto Grotto <laughs> <laughs> um no um we'll go we'll go with um sue and her um her Arkin. daughter suzanne sue and suzanne sue and suzanne carpeting carpeting um mother daughter carpenter do they introduce themselves as this is sue and this is sue's suzanne it's like a makeover program isn't it <laughs> <laughs> um. Sue and Suzanne, mother daughter, Carpen, Terrors. Cool. Right. Um, yeah, and just let me know when I get there. Uh, yeah, cool. Um, Ovek, uh, oh, I suppose Emu. Sorry. Um, e- Emu and Gorm, you're the, the last two inside. What are you? What's your, your, your haps? Emu? Um, I guess sort of still taking in exactly what happened down, uh, both downstairs and upstairs and uh, see that everyone's sort of started to leave and probably just have a have a blink and think so this is <laughs> walk out uh, to this is not on me how dare you <laughs> walk outside um, so is is Ovex still standing outside? I am oh, following okay. Tilda. Okay, that's probably cool. noticeable though, right? Yeah, I think maybe oh, yeah. like you've just kind of like as as you kind of step outside, like Ovex just like getting up to to follow Tilda off to the to the carpenter. Off into the sunset. <laughs> no, that's fine. Oh, it's a different ship. I'll just walk out. Yeah, spoilers for next week, man. Yeah. <laughs> And, uh, Tilvec, that's our, our ship's name. <laughs> <laughs> um, been... I think I've just about finished the remains of what wasn't on the floor. Aha. Uh-huh. It's like a big a stand up slowly and way too full, but content. Um, when do you get down to the floor? <laughs> <laughs> um, I just take a look around the room and say. Yes, it is a bit different, and uh, I, I start to walk out, muttering to myself, like, I guess it's time I should make some money, and I, I go back to the square where I played the bagpipes pre- previously. So it's just outside the ta- tavern, was it not? Yeah, yeah, it was like, it was, I don't, I don't, I think it was like just a, a wee bit away, not not very far. No, it was just basically outside. Basically at was, the tavern, yeah. I was, was going to say, it was just outside because um, Digsy ran. In with the the people chasing the guards and we intervened for Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the way I imagined it was like there was a big square, uh, maybe like fountains in the middle or something. Nothing, nothing major, but like 
it was decent not enough for merchants to talk and trade gather and then, well like, i mean the there can the be corners. a square um if you wish like maybe just up the road from the tavern like maybe maybe you notice a that standard um, forum for like a say roman ish town um, maybe you noticed that there was this, like the first time you're definitely outside the tavern when you were bagpiping, but maybe when you were doing that, you noticed that there was a wee square just like down the road from it. Um, just kind of like not even down the road, just like a couple buildings across takes you into like mm. the the town sort of square where there's a like from the artwork that we've got, just up those steps to the left or something, or to the right even. Could you? Mm. Uh, like yeah, so the square can... right there, yeah. temple. Um. And it's got like you know like a, like a notice board and uh, maybe there's like the town halls there. Does he notice the notice board or does it notice him? No, that's impossible <laughs> to say. That is too meta. No, yeah, like you you can't you can't tell if it notices you or not. It's like even if you like pr try to like roll for it, the 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 roll's too high. Yeah, I can hear all to notice it, noticing him, noticing it, noticing. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry. <laughs> Pay no notice to me. <laughs> but please, please. Noticing the notice board noticed me. <laughs> noticing me, noticing you. Uh huh. There's a mirror on the notice board. And you look at it. You see yourself. Could I uh, just start like piping again? But like next to the notice board for future reference, for instance. Yeah, by all means. Do you want to give me your performance in doobly doo? Performance. Can I use my inspiration? You can if you want. Done. Keep in mind if you've got bagpipes as a, it wouldn't <laughs> technically be a performance. It's the bagpipes proficiency button. Oh, is it? Yeah, if you're using your instrument, that's why it exists. Because oh, okay. that's why you have proficiency instruments. Cancel that. Do do, I'm do just, that. I mean, you should, I mean, you should totally let him keep the seventeen, but <laughs> it's the instrument you need to click on, and it would be with like probably your charisma because it is performance based. And that'll be above your big list of proficiencies, underneath your passive perception. Can you see it? No. I can obviously. So, Calm, can I'm you? Just look? Have a quick it should be left of the money. I don't have a proficiency for it. Wow, you're shit at the bagpipes, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> apparently. Oh, did you just like just take bagpipes as an item? And, yeah. Yeah. Because like it's it's this box where obviously Tilda is useless to everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I'm there. But other people would have things in there, like if you were good with smith's tools, they'd be in there. It's the same as like Digsy when he's playing chess, who shouldn't be using his best stat to play chess, he'd be using whatever stat makes sense to play chess. Because you click on it and then you pick a stat, and obviously his stat being strength because he smashes the pieces on the board. Hence right, why yeah. he needs to keep stealing replacements. Uh, Ovec, <laughs> you successfully steal smith's tools. Smith is very upset. Um... <laughs> or he uses smith's tools and smith's very pleased. Um, you show Smith how his tools work. <laughs> um. Anyway, yes, you 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 start. If that's the case, then it is performance, yeah. Because whatever. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. So it's a. Um. Yeah. So you just start playing the bagpipe section thing. You know, you get, again, you get like a nice crowd. Maybe you've got some like new faces that you hadn't seen, um, before. I'm um, coming up to you. Maybe like a few of them going, "Oh, that's the that's the um, the 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 guy that um Who's Jeff was it? talking about." Uh. Ah. Oh. It's hot, man. They're even better than they were d described. Oh my goodness! Uh, and yeah, you get, a good, <laughs> you get you get like a good ride. That um, much charisma. There's, there's more of it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and um, yeah, yeah. So that's um, that too fast, too furious. Yeah. Too fast, too furious. Dig dog, Leo. I would like to go to the marketplace to see if there's a stand that sells dragon piece. Uh, dragon chess pieces so I can steal some. Just like a handful of loose ones. What? <laughs> Is this you starting your work on your third board? <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, right. So yeah, no, maybe like you... Me and my money collection. 
Like you and your flipping money collection, geez. Oh, anyway. Um, yeah, so you, you head up to the marketplace. Um, you okay. walk pa- I think you walk past, like, you kind of quickly walk past the little bread um, stall where you, you got caught stealing last time. Okay. Um, and um, you you kind of pass, like, a few, few like, um, market-y tents with, like, the fresh fruit and the, the vegetables and things. And um, you... You walk past up into a shop, and there's like a general like games shop place that's selling like, saloon. Yeah, well, it's you know it's kind of like selling you know Warhammer pieces, and uh, <laughs> there's some Legos <laughs> at the back as well, <laughs> and um, some paints, and it's some paints, and you know that that um yeah, that sort of like protective like coating stuff that you really should not get in your hands, um yeah. and you notice that there is like there's a few like sets of like there's like a wall of like dragon chess and um, pieces is there perchance a book of just miscellaneous pieces uh no this is quite like the they're quite like um this is kind of like the place that people go to for like dragon chess um in like the nearing like smaller towns like they take their dragon chess very seriously all their pieces are like on display behind like a glass cabinet and um, it be called the dragon's best <laughs> it's not bad you know what? it's not bad at all um but yeah so like you kind of walk past that store and you, you you see it there okay how busy is this shop um for the morning it's quite quiet um there's probably like one like one or two like super nerds inside um excuse me uh, and like the 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 neck beard like shopkeeper is in there as well Okay, fair enough. I'm going to go into that shop. Cool. As you open the door and the little bell tinkles, the the guy behind the, the desk goes, Greetings! Welcome to my Emporium! Just leave, fun. mate. Just leave. Just, it's not worth it. <sighs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to feel that what I'm about to do is a fucking mistake, though. Okay, right. Yes, it is. We know this. Okay, <laughs> army. <laughs> it's gonna be good. Okay, I would like to make a proposition with the shopkeep. Okay. <sighs> oh. Yeah. Oh god. I if you don't tell the enemy, we're gonna get saucy. <laughs> I'm going to take out my uh <laughs> my, my, my my trust. Just for fuck's sake, I. <laughs> Sorry, continue. Oh, I'm still going going to, uh, for the time being. I'm going to... the sausage becomes useful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, Dig Dog Leo, continue. <laughs> I am going to pull out of my bag the <laughs> dragon chest set and put it down on the counter and make the proposition. If I beat you, in a game of dragon chess, you will give me a brand new set for free. But if you win, I will pay a full price for a dragon chess set. What does he have to lose? Yeah, he's, he's selling the these sets anyway. He well, he stands there no, and he looks you. He, his no, 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 eyes. If I, if I beat him at dragon chess, then I get a free set. Yes, yeah, it's yeah, a lose win. lose. But he doesn't gain anything if he wins. You have to pay like one and a half times, or like double. Yeah, his his eyes his eyes widen, uh, and like there's like a like a twinkle in his eyes, and he looks at you and goes, "I will give you two full sets, and you will pay one and a half if you lose." Yes. <laughs> and then he holds out his hand uh, for like a sh- handshake. I, I I I take it in a firm grip and yelps. It's it's pretty. It's a nerd. very clammy. Um, because he's, he's a nerd, he yelps when I firmly shake his hand. No, he doesn't. He doesn't even like. I don't think he feels it. No. He's got like no, no um feeling in his his like extremities. Okay, so he's just got wankers cramped to the God. absolute maximum. That's it. Um. Okay, yeah. So his hands his hands quite clammy and um, his his like his gaze sort of narrows, and he says, Stephen. Witness! Is Stephen his gaze? His narrow gaze? Yeah. Yes. 
his narrow Christ, gaze <laughs> is called okay. Stephen. And uh, Stephen goes, hmm, yes, sir. And um, like brings out like a uh, like a like a dragon chest sized table, like board table, and brings out two stools, and um, places your set. Uh, oh well, he actually like take holds out uh, like a briefcase of like two boards and going. Will we be using your set or 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 one of ours? We shall be using my set. Very well. But I intend to use my pieces, and then he unzips his jacket, and um, oh, that's there's, like, oh, there's that's like just rude. a slot for like every every piece. Wow. And he he is it like Kaiba in. opening his jacket? Or it's exactly like, like... <laughs> prepare to duel. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to. He plonks himself down. And he places out his um, his pieces uh, pristinely. I right, t- oh here we God. go. <laughs> and I, I place a couple of them in the wrong place. <laughs> um, I think he just leans over and puts, like, corrects your mistakes as you, like, place them down. Like, doesn't oh. even look at you and, just, like, automatically just does it, like, so quickly that you're like, oh, <laughs> well, what happened? Um, uh, okay, right. What am I rolling? Um, if that's strength. a good question. <sighs> See, I don't know how. If I click on, yeah, input value attribute strength. So, uh, yeah. I mean, it's probably meant to be dex or like some I, kind of intelligence check. So. It's think... probably intelligence, to be honest, if you're playing chess. But I yeah, think it's, it's an intel to... battle. <laughs> it's it's an intelligence battle, but I'm 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 a strong boy, so I'm going to make it all about strength. I'm smashing these pieces down. I'm knocking shit all over the place. Okay. Um, okay. Right. Um. I need. To, I need to think. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, one, the you could have a roll advantage, then... and one of the rolls would be Digsy, and one of the rolls could be Elegate. No, because I'm going to add his, his like his, this, this game master's mastery modifier <laughs> to 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 whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I could wait. Hold on. That I didn't actually roll a d twenty. That's why. That rolled a one. Like that's. Oh uh, yeah. A one. Use the dice symbol at the side. I should. To there we go. That. Let's try this. <laughs> Let's do this again. It's a one again, Ready. please. Rolling the dice. It's it's stuck on rolling the dice. Nine. Okay. And I. Yeah. You still. You still. It's like a really close game. Um. You sit there, you play. He like counters basically everything that you like try and do, um. But like, there's just the like, there's like one move that maybe like both of you don't notice, um, until like the last moment where you notice it, and then as you make the move, he notices it, and he just stands there and like brings his hands to his head as you make like the the move that in like after this move in one turn he will lose unless he does something amazing, and he just stands up knocks over the equivalent king piece and concedes puts his hand out to you for a shake I I, I, I gladly accept that handshake and say well played sir <laughs> you notice the moisture <laughs> well played sir and then wipe my hand on my trousers shortly afterwards that take note Stephen that was amazing absolutely Amazing! Please come back any time you like. And he starts like like sweating a lot, and he stands up and he he goes and he t- goes into the back and takes out this um this sort of like metal chest, places it um on the counter and opens it up, and inside is like a crystal um dragon chest set with like matching like crystallized board um, and he goes this are they blue is my no they're not blue <laughs> um, I think the, the like one one side has like a tint of like is like dyed like blood red and one side is completely clear um, and he like just puts it this is the best board in the land take it take it and I shall sit in my shame Thank he you, sits Ken, down so. in, in a chair and like um 
on like the wall behind that chair it says shame <laughs> I shall use this board to become the greatest player in all of the land I say lying through my teeth I intend on selling this bitch <laughs> come back the next day you sell it back <laughs> wearing um, disguise of course <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that happens. Um, yeah, cool. I've got a hang on, wait, I've got to fucking add my into my garage tree now, don't I? Yes, you do. Uh, okay, we need sausage. Uh, While you do that, um, Emu, what are you up to? Um, I would just sort of like to try and have a think of where um, somewhere not... Try and, try and think of one of the quieter places in town um, that definitely is not the cult of the world balance in <laughs> church. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. Um, I think um, maybe uh, like what, when you, like you and Tilda were walking, you maybe like saw like there was like a, a wee perhaps like a, a like a wee like library type place um and then like across from the library there's like a like a small like park um yeah with, with like benches and yeah. stuff um I'd just like to go have a have a sit there yeah cool are you going into the library are you going into the park or are you just um are you free uh, to i think i just like to sit in the park yeah that's fine uh there's just nobody like... really about in the park Um, it, it oh, looks excellent. like it's not well maintained Um, people Perfect. don't seem to use it um as you kind of like go there maybe maybe you'd like go like in a wee bit like there's like a few um like maybe a couple of trees and like a bench in between the trees that you maybe go down to to sit on um are are you like thinking of anything in particular or are you just sitting in a quiet place to kind of come down from the excitement of earlier <laughs> Yeah, I mean, nothing really relevant to, to our situation, just sort of pondering some of some of the the, the mysteries that I've uh, nothing particularly nothing in particular, I guess. Yeah, cool, cool. Um, Gorm, you're bagpiping. As you're bagpiping, mm -hmm. maybe you kind of like see um, Emu kind of walk past and go go um just kind of like up uh, up another road uh towards like there's there might be a sign saying to to public library or whatever um and uh tilda and ovek yeah yes so you've got uh tilda you've kind <sighs> of uh, like arrived at the at the, um sue's carpentry just before we get there can we just sort of have a chat about where we're heading i just sort of asked um, where are you heading? We are going to the carpenters to ask them to make repairs on the bar that was damaged during breakfast. That's uh, by the blacksmith, right? I just kind of smile and nod. Um, I think I might uh, go check in, see if I can lend a hand. With the blacksmith. Yeah. And I think I'll just like stop and then like kinda like touch your arm. Um as if like the blacksmith you go like left or whatever, and then this place you go right or whatever Calum described earlier. Mm. And then we part ways there, I guess. Yeah. They're yeah. sort of like next door, weren't they? Well the the carpenters are like kind of down the road from yeah, sure. from the blacksmith. So just like a little bit further on. Cool. Um, yeah, so like do that thing where I kinda touch your arm and then let you walk away and then off off I go, I guess. Cool. Uh, well, I'll stick with Ovik then, as we we like seeing as that's the the first place we got to. Um, the blacksmith. So yeah. Um. Uh. Grundar and Grugar. Are, um. Uh. And Gregor. Sorry. Gregor and Grugar. Yeah. Gregor and Grunda Grugar. Grugar. Yep. Grugar and Gren Grendor. Oh my god. Gregor. Gregor and Grundar. Are, Grugar. Uh, Grugar. 
<laughs> I oh, named these. You people. named them. <laughs> yeah. <No. laughs> Gregor. Grugar. Uh, yes, Gregor and Grugar. Um, At Grugar, apparently. At Grugar. <laughs> um, are like um, porting around, um, just like doing blacksmithing stuff. You can see kind of like, um, like the section that's labeled like, um, uh, Ovex Shield. Um, there's like a little, like cart, and there's like loads of like the materials that they've they've managed to get together, and it's like they seem to be working on that and a bunch of other projects as well. They seem to be really busy right now, um, and I think um, like maybe they've got like a, a like a young like a, a young uh, young man kind of helping out, and he like comes up to you and goes, "Oh, can I can I can I help you, um, Mister, Sir?" Mm, yes. Uh... Yesterday, I put in a request for a, a shield to be commissioned. Uh, and I was told it's going to take about four days to complete. Um, recent ah, accident. you're the stone killer. Stone breaker. Oh, yes, right yes, of course. And then he looks down, like at the book, and goes, "Oh, yeah, oh, apologies. Yes, uh, huh." Well, uh, recent events have made it uh, clear to me we may not be staying in town as long as I had anticipated. So, um. I'm here to lend a hand. I'm quite skilled at smithing and uh, proficient in the use of a hammer. If there's any way I can help expedite the process. Um, I'm. Do you know what? I I am sure. Um, sir, sir, and like the 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 two the two of them um come over. Um, Gregor's kind of. Is he um, referred to his brother as sir? No, this. No, it's. Uh, this, it's, it's. This is just like a. a this helping... is this. This is the attractive serving boy who's shouting oh. on the gay couple, who yes. hire him, for yeah. his skills. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, and yeah, they both they both come over and. Um, um, Grugar's like um, uh, Gr yeah, looks at looks at you and goes. Ah, <clears throat> uh, what, what 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 can I do for you, sir? Uh, oh, I just take out my hammer and say, I'm here to lend a hand. And I sort of flip it in my hand. Catch it by the handle. I think he would like cross his arms and go, oh, are you? Well, yes, sir. <clears throat> you can start by picking up. Uh, I've got I've got a couple of uh, deliveries coming in from fr uh, the, the, the market to pick up uh, stuff for our lunch. So um, here's a list. <clears throat> He hands out like a sheet of paper with got, like lettuce, bread, and uh, like tomatoes and various other things. I'm just gonna get my shield done any quicker. Look, go pick up the lunch stuff. Then we can talk about uh, yeah. Actually, we'll get some jobs for you to do, and we'll get your shield done as fast as humanly possible. Or is that right. uh, whatever you are? <laughs> <laughs> Goliathly possible. Wow. <laughs> wow. I just slump away, go and go. I just take the paper or whatever out of his hand and just go to the market, whatever. Yes. Um, and then, and then uh, Gregor is um, just kind of goes, kind of hits Grugar on the sh on the shoulder, um, and just goes. <sighs> you can't just be mean to all our customers. You know this. He goes, ah, he can take it. He's a big lad. Could he, like, turn to him and then say, like, oh, you'll get it and when it's done. <laughs> or it in the moment. Uh, brilliant. Cool. So, uh, I think, uh, Tilda, we get to you going up to the Carpenter's Land. Oh, uh, it's, it's a whole land. It's a whole well. land. Land of Carpentry. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, Sue and Suzanne's land. Carpentry World. <laughs> it's a world now. Um, carpentry Kingdom. Um, yeah, that's it. Carpentry Kingdom. <laughs> yep, so I head up and do I see anybody working from my approach or do I need to like investigate to find people? Um, I think it's uh, it's like an actual like there's, there's like the, the sign outside and the door and it's like there's no real like windows looking in like if you go into the door and um, you get taken to like a reception desk 
Because I think I, I approach and I look around to make sure I'm in the right place and thinking of a mental map. Like, it's definitely this many streets over with this. Yeah, yeah. And, yep, that's the right color of roof from what this is. Okay, yeah. I am. Um, did I meet Sue or Suzanne? Um, I think n no. They don't tend to spend much time in the, like, out in the taverns and stuff. But um, I think you you probably met like a customer of them, and they'd say, "Oh well, just yeah. say the you know um, I don't know, but just say Dave sent you, and uh, you'll get a good deal." Okay. Um. Yeah, I think I walk in then, and. If it's open, assuming like yeah, yeah. Just, like, yeah, you, just you open the door. the door down. Do, yeah, the door smash opens. the door. Walk in. Aye. Door opens. Yeah. There's a, there's a, there's a like a kind of elderly man at the, the reception desk. I just smile at him, and then does he like notice me or do I need to say? Yeah, good morning, no, he like, he he. I think he gives you like a toothless sort of grin and then goes, um, ah, new face. Not for me. She just smiles. Same one I've always had. And just kind of like merrily. I think he chuckles. He offers you a mint humbug. No. <laughs> <laughs> Rip uh, off the mask. Inside. It was you all along. <laughs> um, stupid old woman. <laughs> um, no, she yeah. He would have away with it too if it wasn't for those pesky tilders. Um, yes. Um, no, yeah. yeah. So yeah, like, I think pleasantries are ex like exchanged. I, And then said... Yes, are you the master carpenter? Oh no, that would be Sue. Sue's at the back. Um, she's just working on some, uh, some, uh, some, some housery stuff. Tables. She's building tables. And what a what a wonderful day for it as well. Um, I just kind of smell. It starts pleasantly. to drizzle slightly. Um, could you perhaps let her know I'm here, or may I go through to her? Oh, just go through. It's open. And he points like just like to like the the door behind him, um, it, it, which kind of uh, through the window of the door you can see just kind yeah. of leads out into like basically the like a courtyard slash like yeah. workshoppy place. I think I, I go to walk through and I say, "Are you joining us for the company?" And I kind of arch my arm a little. Ah, can't hurt. And uh, he like presses, um, he like flicks like a lever at the desk and um, ah. Uh, like a, a like door sort of like comes like down from the thingy to to signify that the reception's closed and takes mm -hmm. your arm. Yep. Cool. And then yeah, we'll walk through in to go meet Sue. Works for me. Yep. Yeah. Um you find Sue kind of just, you know, she's kind of sawing and kind of shouting um, orders uh, at Suzanne. Iron Sue. No 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 no. Yes. Um she's kind of like shouting orders at Suzanne who's holding like a whole like carrying like big slabs of of wood. Well, I suppose it wouldn't be a slab; it'd be a plank, and um, planks of wood. Um, I'd like taking them over to like over to Sue to like process and pick it up. And um, I think she looks up and notices you and stops what she's doing and tells Sue to t Suzanne to take five. Uh, and she walks over and goes, "Ah, what can I? What can I do for do for you?" Hello and good morning. How are you this fine day? I've been worse. And uh, she like wipes just... some sweat off her brow and uh, looks. And it says, This lovely gentleman escorted me to you. Thank you so much. And I just kind of like turned him and like unlink with him. Yeah. Uh, she kind of like um, just looks fondly at him and um, kind of like puts the hand on his shoulder and goes, All right. You can, you can go back to the desk now. Bye, Charles. And um, Charles walks off. Um, back to the reception desk going oh, never get mm -hmm. to see any of the new people oh. um, and then uh, once he's gone I guess or just shuffles off I'll uh, say would you be free for commission I have work that is rather immediate unfortunately uh, I believe you know a Dave or Dave I, I, I don't recall how it's pronounced I think she'll but, sigh yeah. and go ah oh. I appreciate yeah. the business, I really do, but I wish he would just stop telling people to come to me. I'm so, I'm absolutely swamped. Uh, is, is there any chance it can wait till till next week? 
Unfortunately not. I won't be in town next week and there is significant damage to the local tavern that needs repaired as soon as possible just to maintain the economic stability of your town. <laughs> Another brawl, was it? All right. She just, like, I roll my eyes because obviously it's another <laughs> brawl. Um, and she, I don't she say yeah, um, she she just goes, "All right, uh, come on, come on in, uh, come into my uh, office," and um, she kind of escorts you to, to like a back. Well, I I say an office. It's it's just like a room with a table in it, mm -hmm. um, and there's like bits of paper like everywhere, and um, she kind of like tidies up the desk a little bit and pulls out a new sheet of paper, and she goes. Well, what's, what's the extent of the damage this time? So, for services in the book, Callum, uh -huh. for untrained services, it's two silver pieces per day, and then for a skilled services, it's two gold per day. So, a whole day's worth of work should at least get the bar working, right? Like it, I'd I say so. It would make yeah, it like, like, passable. It, it might not like... look great, but it'll be like functional, yeah. Yeah, and I don't need it to look great. That's up to them to fix that. That's their own fault for letting us stay. Um, yeah, that's true. But the, yeah. So, I discussed the exact nature of what I seen as I walked downstairs, uh, in terms of the damage, not how it happened, um, and just describe it in like, oh, this many feet of the bar would need replaced. It doesn't need to be fancy, just functional. Um, ideally, sooner rather than later, because I, they were ever so kind to let us stay in town. Uh, we were set upon unfortunate circumstances and their kindness I don't wish to extinguish moving forward. I, I hope think... the next people in need can benefit from their nature. I think as you say that she just like she's quickly like jotting stuff down going, uh-huh, mm-hmm, uh-huh, mm. Uh, and she and... Well carry on. And then I said to her, I, like, I don't believe the work would take more than a day for someone as skilled as yourself, or even your young apprentice there. Um, and I can like motion to wherever Suzanne is. And then I say, um, however, I will pay you four gold if you could drop everything and at least attempt to get it fixed before evening's meal. Um, she'll so like um, she'll just like continue like jotting down in kind of like shorthand, or the equivalent of shorthand in this world. Um, and then just like puts the pen down and goes, right. Uh, well, I've got nothing super urgent anyway. I'll, we'll head down just now. Um, Suzanne, come on, I've got a job. And you hear like a, a, a distant sigh in the background as like wood is like. like I think I go to walk away, bowl. and then I stop and I turn and I say, in fact, if you could also have a look at one of the upstairs rooms, a room. 12, I believe. Uh, that is in need of some repair also. If you, if you were able to squeeze that into the day, it wouldn't take much. Merely just fixing a hole in the wall. Alright, yep, yeah, sure. I'll have a look anyway. Um, if it's if it's too much for the day, I'll come I'll come back around tomorrow. Um, That's okay. I'm, I trust in your skill. And I just smile at her and I'll, le I'll set the four gold yeah, on the uh, table for her. She just picks it up. Oh, in advance. Oh, you're better than the rest. And um, she... That's what I heard about you. And I just smile. I think she'd laugh at that. <laughs> you heard right. You heard right. And she gets up, like, grabs a like a, a cloak and heads on out, takes, grabs and Suzanne. Yeah, as, as I walk away, I'll just, like, as we're ex like exchanging our final pleasures, I just say, if her paths cross again, a smile costs nothing. And then I just smile at her and leave. Um, you know, because hopefully it means she'll smile at me if she sees me in the yeah. future. <laughs> Um, and I, yeah, I'm going to head off and I want to find the coach cab services that connect towns Yeah, because apparently um, coach cab between towns is three copper pieces per mile and if I can work out how much uh, when we could book one to get to that next town as per the loose quest we have <laughs> I would oh. like to try and book myself transport <laughs> to there uh, but I want to head that way so yeah you let me know whenever that happens yeah, that's cool. That's my, um, that's my next plan. Brilliant. Uh, we'll jump to Gorm. Um, I think you've you've been playing for like quite some time now. Um, you can my roll fingers up. are tired. Your fingers are tired. You're kind of maybe out of breath. Um, you think you call it you call it a, a day of playing. Um, How much gold do I have here? Roll a roll a d twenty.
Darn it. Four. And you get four gold. That pays for not even breakfast. I mean, to be fair, we did get so much gold from them the previous day. So they're <laughs> obviously still poor. Yeah. I mean, payday's not, like, for another good few ten days, you know. Um... <laughs> <laughs> a few ten days. Yeah. A few ten days. Um, perhaps a twenty day. Um, oh, jeez. Um, so yeah, uh, you kind of like pack up your pipes. Um, do you? What would you? What would you kind of like to do? I've been two things. I've been watching the crowd to see if anyone, like obviously of note, passes by, like anyone important looking or anything like that. Um, and maybe occasionally stopping. Uh, between songs to talk to the crowd, ask them about stuff, goings on in the world, stuff like that, gathering information, uh-huh. and then, um, assuming no one of incredible importance has just happened to walk past, um, I go to the notice board and cool. take a look. I think um, what you what you get ga- what you gather from kind of looking at the notice board and kind of talking to 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 people as you were playing. Um, you kind of get like a few like tidbits of like um people, you know, all oh, the road to road to like um here and there is is like pretty dangerous. Um, there seems to be like caravans going missing and stuff. You know, the general like uh, oh no, it's you know not a great road Hob-goblin. for going this way. The hobgoblins attacking X city and like how the covered like, in egg. How like a, a like a maybe there was like, um you know like a, like a dwarf town was was attacked by this like human city and um they seem to be like stealing all the chickens stealing all the chickens and all the eggs and everyone's upset um maybe you feel a bit guilty for buying all the eggs now um mm. no. I feel Eggs. relieved for having received the supply whilst it was stolen. Eggs. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, and you, you maybe like looking upon uh, the thing, you see like a, a little map of the local area, and like the next like town, sort of to the east, is. Um, Can I take out my and... ink and parchment and trace it? You certainly can. Um, it looks something pretty much like this. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Um, that there is the 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 next town along there. Um, <laughs> so detailed. You just touch the tally. Um, that's you know, the. Can we, tell you guys, this is where the quest. Is it? This is where the quest is at. It's where the quest is at. Look, it's where the quest it's, is at. <laughs> it's obviously full of gold. <laughs> <laughs> it's just full to the to the brim of gold. But yes, um, so yeah, take note of that. Um, and the the next town along is is called uh, Pampai or uh, or Pampei. If you Pampai. Oh, oh, yeah. Is it Pompeii? Because uh... <laughs> yes. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> mm. It's a uh, Pam and P A I I. If you must. Pam. Pie. P A I I. Pam pie. There is there is discrepancy in the pronunciation by many. I've, some pe- it's like the primark pie. premark thing. Some people say Pam pie. Some people say Pam pie. I sense Gorm acquiring pan pipes in Pam pie. Where is this place, or is this the town over? Yeah, so that's the town over, so I, I, that's where the... The one that um, T wants us to go? Uh, yes. I'll I take a mental note to get a lava resistance potion. Um, <laughs> seeing all the the caravans going missing or under attack and stuff, um, is there anything about like requir- requiring extra caravan guards or something? Yeah, there's probably... Uh, like sign up board of like um like oh come here and apply um we need we need you know more more like escorts and more scrubs um, more 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 people to kind of take the, the the fire of like goblins attacking the the caravans and stuff and various mm-hmm. other things you you probably notice there's a few other like 
um you know there's, there's kind of like an odd jobs like um list there it, like i'll pay you to does it say to him uh, i don't mean like with voice but does it actually clarify its goblin attacks on the job board i think that i think from it doesn't say on the board but i think from like um a few like conversations with people a, a few a lot, like a, consistently few people have been saying goblins there's been a few people who have been saying other things you know um, Gary the Knowles yeah, but attacking did it, again. But... Did they say it the same way people would say 5G caused COVID though? Like, is that the type of rumours or is it like <laughs> you know would it make sense? I know this is difficult because like his character knows nothing about this world but like yeah like you'd know the way people spoke about stuff you know? Yeah I like, think I think um, he would he would definitely say that people genuinely the, the, like the majority of people genuinely believed it was goblins. Like, the, all, you know, the the they're not act, like they're not officially saying it, but we definitely know it's like there's goblins attacking, um, um, but not in the same aspect of oh the government's not telling us, but it's definitely the Chinese and the five G, um, <laughs> not to that regard. There's like a few of those kind of people, and they're saying oh it's clearly the the mutant alpacas coming down from the the mountains. You crest, guys. I'm taking a note of mutant alpacas. Hold on. Me too. Mutant alpacas. Do they have mutants? Multiple um, claws. I think fact. then uh, what what we'll do. I have a one shot for that. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was yes, <laughs> but. Um, yes, but it can be two. Um, but no, yeah. So what what we'll what we'll do is we'll if we go back to Tilda, um, and like you're kind of you know the the sort of like coaching. It's not where the coaches are, but the kind of like office for the the coach area. Yeah, is, the office is... where you book your tickets, and then you. Yeah, stand that's kind of that's station. in the yeah. yeah that's at the sort of like town square um thing. So as you're kind of like walking down, you kind of walk past the park, um maybe you walk through the park and you you kind of see Emu sitting there on on the uh on on that bench in between two trees. What does see Emu doing? When I get to the park, because that was my big debate whether I walked around. Um, I'm probably just sitting, trying to like look at something that isn't a building, just like looking at a tree or something. So, do you notice me like walking past the park then, or what? Because I think it. Uh, probably not unless you come into the park. Yeah. Just trying to think if I would bug you though. I don't think I would actively like if you've came here. Uh, here's a question, right? In the past, does Emu often go off to get peace and quiet from um, everyone? If if we've been stuck in an urban environment for mm -hmm. like more than a day or two, would I know yeah. you would need your own space, or would I been would I know you're fine with me coming to chat to you because it's just me and you? You you, you probably know it, so it's fine. Um, okay. I... I, I'd probably be quite happy to be left alone, but because it's you that I, I do kind of know you, as long as you're not expecting me to go do other things with lots of people, then that's fine. <laughs> Turns out with a flyer for a party. Guess yeah. where we're going, <laughs> bitch! Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I think I'll maybe walk past, and maybe I'll, like, email will catch my eye in the, in the park or whatever, and then I'll I'll have that split second where I'm like, hmm, just as she sits and thinks, will I go in? Will I leave them to it? And then I head in anyway, so I'll head in to, to speak to Emu. So I just kind of like walk up to you, and maybe you notice me walking up, or you notice me when I'm just standing next. Either way, I'll say. Lovely day for it. We. Oui. Sam. Right. Yeah, and I think there's just that moment where we hear the wind. I just kind of look around and I don't think reply it, to that. Yeah, and it's like they're, 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 it's like really kind of eerily quiet as well. You know, there's like the, the distinct lack of people here compared to you know the average like milling around of people is is like noticeable. Not sinister, just noticeable. Yeah, and I think um, I kind of look down. Are you sitting on like a bench? Yeah. Yeah. I think I'll say, "May I join you?" In motion to like the bench. Uh, uh, we have 
focus. And then just I was like, put two out and um, slide over just a little. Yeah, and I kind of just like perch on the edge of it as if I'm clearly not going to stay long. As if I'm, there's just something on her mind because she's still kind of looking off to like the, the outskirts of the park as if where other people might be near the, the square. And um, I say, We must leave this town sooner than I was hoping to. We... We definitely are not safe here. Things are too... too misaligned with our purposes. My temptation to return to the tavern is only opposed by my expectation that Tokjar may not even be there when I return. I think we need to follow this T-Zor's instruction to investigate the next town. I am about to go make transportation arrangements to get there. Uh, very well. It is things that you speak to. Uh, it is likely that we should follow his instruction. I do not relish that uh, it must lead us to another town, but hopefully travel in between here and will take more time than perhaps must. And perhaps our mission there will not keep us in the town itself. Perhaps it will keep us on the outskirts. One can only hope. I think I just smile at that, like maybe absentmindedly, like I'm not really aware I'm smiling. Because I know that's something that would obviously kind of relax you a bit, I think. Yes, I think you should conclude whatever business you may have here, and then we should leave today, I think. I feel um, the sooner we leave here, the sooner we can try and look at look for answers for this potential other box. If it just, indeed exists. I think I just stand up at that, and it says, I'll be at the coaching station. Feel free to inform the others or do not, but I will see what arrangements need to be put in place for transport. And then I think I'll just like nod and then walk off. Flick my hood up. If it's drizzly. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little bit. It starts to get a little bit more, like drizzly. Um, um, a bit more drizzly is what I meant to say. Um, yeah, I got that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, Emu, do you do you do anything? Do you follow? Do you stay put and kind of ponder um, this? Or? I might check out the library just briefly. I see what you did there. <laughs> um. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so you kind of like leave the park, head over like across the road from the park entrance to the to the library. You open the door. Um. Ha. <laughs> huh. <laughs> okay, I get it. Check yeah. out. Okay, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm yeah, sorry, it's a curse. Sorry, it's, it's it's fair. Um, so yeah, you go in. There's like um, there's a young young woman at the the reception. I think she's a, 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 a yeah, she's like a, like a young um human woman just standing like okay. at the desk. Um, is this for the transport place? Sorry, I uh, know this is for the library. This, oh, sorry. sorry, oh sorry, for the library. Good. Sorry, I'm I'm just confused as to who was when. That's okay. My mistake. Sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay, right? Um, yeah. So it's the yeah, and she just she just like silently acknowledges you entering the the library. Uh, walk up to her and say, "Pardon me, I was wondering." Is there anyone, is there anyone here that knows anything about any ruins in this area? She looks at or you. Any any information that would be available. On on ruins, um. I mean, you could you could uh, possibly check the the sort of um historical section over there um, that's got kind of like the, the, the old sort of maps. Uh, people have gone to look for kind of the, the old settlements that were around here a few hundred years ago. Uh, they seem to be 
um, there seems to be a well documented um, thinking of all the all the sort of like old settlements and um, old castles and stuff that were that were around this area uh, just in that section over there. Uh, just out of character. Um, is it, how do libraries work? <laughs> um, <laughs> is it is it acceptable for someone to just sort of have a look through some of the tomes? <laughs> Um, would it be yeah. expected that you so I think, need like, their permission? And... <laughs> no, no, I think it's like a common courtesy to like let someone know that's where you're going, but then you're you're kind of left to your own devices. Like there's a like each section's kind of like a maybe like a, a square of shelves, um, with like one side missing, obviously, so you can go in, and with like just like a table in the middle for people to kind of sit at and. Um, like there's like signs about the place and saying you know don't take books out of their respect like this table is for the historical tomes table this table is for I'm, the i'm sort of imagining it's like a chained library where you know all the books are like chained to the shelves so that you yeah, can yeah, yeah. actually take them you can read them there but you can't take them away yeah you can get it as far that's... as the table and that's like yeah that's it yeah then may I take my leave to peruse some of your um, literature for a short while? By all means. Uh, you're the only one here. I mean, if you want to go there. Uh, Miss eyes. Just walk over and start. Just want to have a look through some of the maps about the um, any like anything just about ruins and the. Lo- yeah. Um. I don't think it takes you particularly long. Uh, are you trying to find something like specific, or is no, it just no, kind of like no, general? I, just general. Um, let me get my. Um, I think you. And, like, if there isn't any there, that's fine. Yeah. What no, you could yeah. look for, just to jump in, is something that might come into Emu's head is anything that resembles the place we were, where Talkjar took us from. That rune, you know, where all those goblins were, and the tombs, and the dead body, and the the big hail hydra symbol. Like, if that's nearby, it might be documented. Mm. But considering we had to get teleported into and out of there, to sort of that uh, might just be a hundred meters down, though, right? Like we don't know. Um, I w- I wouldn't say it's something that I was specifically looking for. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um, no, but like, uh, if you're just like kind of browsing, you kind of like there's, you know, it, it kind of put like there's a few maps that kind of point out the like old settlements and like there was an old settlement there, and like. Maybe like one over here, and there was Can like I an just old. Scribble down like some notes about various like locations relative to the different. Yeah, like, by all means, and like modern... just just kind of outside um here outside of Pompeii, um there's like a there was a sort of like um sort of like I don't want to say cathedral um. But like a big, a big churchy type place for like the the worship of the sun goddess, um, kind of there. Um, but like other than that, and then then other than you know the countless iterations of Merchton, um, where you stand, there's uh, things. Um, if you kind of like read into it, like the, there's only like a couple of buildings that um are original, like that haven't really changed, and one of them's the the church which has been um it's gone under like many different religions but the building itself has been been there for well as far back as you you managed to kind of browse through anyway and the 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 sort of like town hall building is the uh, another one that just kind of seems to have just gone back forever um Uh, cool. Uh, Ovek? Novek? Sorry, was okay <laughs> for a second there. I'm back. Oh, that's okay. Um, so yeah, uh, do do you actually do you go and like pick up all the shopping and stuff for? I guess so. Yeah. Okay. I think as you kind of like, um, maybe you're you kind of like walk through. Like the yeah, you kind of pick up the stuff uh, from like the market part, 
and you you walk past and you you kind of um maybe walk through like the the square as um Tilda is kind of walking towards the square and you you notice across like the the square as well Gorham standing there kind of looking at the notice board and you're you're there with your, like you're shopping you've got like a couple of cabbages and the, some tomatoes and ham and bread and cheese. Mhm. Oh, they're um, bullish sandwich. <laughs> yeah. Um and uh I think at this point as well uh Dig Dog Leo you Well, what what do you do when you leave the 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 sort of um games place? Where where do you like head? I, I, honestly, I, I just like to think I just scroll through the town, pretty uh, pleased as punch with my with my hull. Just, just yeah. scroll through. Oh, well, then maybe the maybe you kind of like just for the sake of you know bringing people together. <laughs> and maybe just you, you... I uh, just just wander down and I bump into uh, relevant people. Yeah, uh, maybe maybe you kind of like bump into um, Gorm as he's looking at the notice board, and you're walking past with your your metal chest. Um, yeah. do, do do, does he does he inquire about the metal jester? I don't know. Do you notice uh, Dig Dog Leo like walking past you? I acknowledge it, but not with any great glee or anything. Cool oh. chest, bro. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> I carry on. Um. Yeah, uh, cool. And then I think at this point, like maybe that's when like Tilda starts to, like walk past Ovik as he's carrying his uh, his shopping. Um, am I am I walking towards him or away from him? Wouldn't I be walking away from him? Wasn't he behind? In my weird mental map of this town. Yeah, I think um, I think um, like as like some of the things that Ewan was buying, he ended up in the in the, like the square, um, and he's kind of like okay. Yeah, so like m- maybe you don't walk past him. Maybe he's like just like leaving the square again as you kind of like enter from a different point. Oh, okay. Uh, where's the coach place? Because that's where I would have been going after. Um, with... It's just like kind of um, across from the the notice board. So like the, the notice board's oh, there, okay. and then there's yeah. a couple mm-hmm. buildings to the left, and then there's like the little office for the the, the coach. Yeah, because that's my plan. I'm heading that way. So, um, like if I lock eyes with somebody i'll smile at them yeah cool cool that's fine but uh, i mean everybody looks busy right because we really get people playing music or carrying metal chests or shopping yeah, for yeah. Other people, everyone, so... everyone kind of just looks like they're they're doing stuff for yeah. yeah 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 cool. i'm just literally i have my plan that's what i'm doing heading for the coach um so yeah you and you kind of uh ovek you know maybe like do you head over back to the yeah head back to the blacksmith cool <laughs> I only just looked back at the screen. Oh my god, guys. Um <laughs> that's fine. Uh yeah, so yeah, you you kind of we'll fast forward and make it back there. Cool. Uh, and you'd like deliver the shopping. Um and uh Grugar just smiles and goes, Ah, good job, good job. Um and then he just kind of uh points over to like a uh like the the furnace and the the anvil and says, Do you think you can you can hammer? Definitely, and he's uh, he like what he does is he gives you kind of like a like maybe like a, maybe a test block to work with, just to like see how you do before he lets you loose on him. Um, All right, on smithing stuff, and he's gonna stand over you, and he's not he doesn't like give you any instructions or anything. He just like goes right, go ahead, show me what you can do. Cool. Nice. Yeah. Uh, I see. <clears throat> That's not bad at all. Um, yeah, so he he watches you, and I think like if you look up at him, he looks like genuinely impressed. Um, but he like obviously doesn't say that, and he goes, "Yeah, bitch, that's right." <laughs> and he looks at you, and like he just he just nods approvingly and goes, "Ah, you'll do, you'll do just nicely." And he he like goes, "Here's the here's the the, the metal parts for the here's here's the the he gives you like the the sort of blueprint thing with the." what you need to to kind of make the shield and um, mm-hmm. the metal parts and stuff and he just hands you the sheet and just says get to work boy I'll Should make a smith out of you yet 
gonna make his own shield. That could. Yeah, it's better fucking reduce the price. Yeah, I got to work. <laughs> Charge for labor. Yeah, cool. What is going on with this map? Um, just stuff. It's the world happening. A wizard battle, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> That's end game stuff. Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, so I think Tilda, you you kind of like maybe you see Gorham and um Dig Dog Leo kind of like standing at the notice board, and uh, you know. I I am holding my little steel box with pride. Maybe Dig Dog Leo's no, glowing slightly. Yeah, now, like now, now keep in mind, you left me because you thought, oh, for fuck's sake, he's going to be uh, doing some shady shit. Can I offer... No, that, that's, no, that's literally what you said you were going to go do. I didn't assume anything. You well, said uh, that. Not in uh, character, though, so it's meta to know that. Um, I left because I wanted to go into the carpenters the whole time anyway, but when you left, it made sense to follow you. That's all. Because um, I was definitely going to make sure we were paying to repair that fucking tavern that we wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> Can I offer Dick Doglio some of the devil's cabbage as we're just chilling, standing around? Absolutely. I mean, yes, yes, you can. Talk, talk if you want. <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, <laughs> oh no. Um, do you do you take it, Dick Doglio? Of course, I take it. Can, can, oh, man, can you make a con save? Hang on. Probably, uh, right? I mean, like... <laughs> <laughs> I would hope so. Yeah, Whoa! Right. Look at that. <laughs> Boom. What the fuck is my saving throws today? You have right. You, you you know you take it. You don't you don't feel much for for a while. But like when when it kicks in, it kicks in good. But to the but also you're in total control. Like so if anyone asked you a question, you could instantly just like you know what yeah. I can, I can, I can pass myself off as like may maybe like just a little bit inebriated as opposed to. So it's pretty much you. me at any given time while I've got weed in my possession. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what do you enough. think you are every yes. time you have weed in your possession? But realistically, you're not. Yeah. Oh no! Um, <laughs> unless I'm going for it, I don't get monged. Yeah, I'm okay, right. Swerving hmm. them. <laughs> um, I'll smile at them as I pass. Yeah. Yeah, like maybe maybe it... maybe like you you start to go Sniffing over and then you see the sort of exchange, and then no, definitely not even like I'm happy to just I'm going straight for the coaching place. If they're there, I'm smiling at them but continuing to walk. That's can fine. I, yep. Can um... I grab Tilda by the arm lightly, not not in a bad way. <gasps> Romance. Um... <laughs> <laughs> do you do you dirty dancing lift her? I, I whisper into her ear. I write <gasps> sins or tragedies. <laughs> um, wait, wait just a quick question like if someone's role playing a man and someone's role playing a woman if they role play together that, that it becomes like a romantic relationship is that gay no why would it no why would it it's the know. characters that are like it, it's it's <laughs> like a character know. choice it's not it's not do you, you anthropomorphize your, your character as you it doesn't make it, do, it doesn't matter anyway. Like it's we're it's like, we're in a world where like any kind of sexual combination means. I'm going to say the words half orc and half elf just now, and everybody can then read into that and we'll <laughs> move along. Oh, yes. he's sexist instead of homophobic. Um, <laughs> but no, yeah, um, uh, Gorm, were hmm. you? I was just going to whisper. Well, not just mention that there seems to be jobs going for caravan escorts that seem to pay decent and would get us to the next town. How much were they paying? Billion. Uh, I think it was... Um... God? How much God. were they paying? <laughs> Dear God. Life is a myth. Um... <laughs> yeah, Everyone sorry. Alone. Uh, I hear you I call hear my, name. my name. And it feels like... Home. Ding, 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 ding. Anyway. Um, sorry. Anyway, yeah, so there I'll are... I'll get to this goddamn coach place. See if this coach place is just run by fucking demons by the time I get there. That's the pop goblins run it themselves. Yeah, it's obviously a fix. <laughs> They're all wearing dodgy mustaches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, so, um... Yeah, they seem to be paying about, basically, uh... 
a, a lump sum, like a hundred, hundred gold to like sign up, be, and then a bit more than the normal rate because they're yeah. But know, like on arrival, um, depending on who you're escorting, the the like a, on arrival rate was negotiable, um, but they were talking about like about a grand for for making the the journey. I think it would depend or... on what is being transported. Yeah, like, if you were just transporting, like, you know, Stephen, I reckon he would, you know, not pay you, like, a grand to get there. How well, I don't know. can but... we maths this that we all get a grand, right? There's what I'm going to ask you, Calum. So that was not... per person. <laughs> what? Cool. Right? So, so yeah, 100, 100, 100 to sign up, like, to, like, agree to go. So you get 100 up front. Right. And then you would Perfect. get, you like you're like the the average like depending on the cargo give or take you'd get the 900 when you arrived safely at the okay but that is potentially bullshit you said or is yeah that, i like, mean depending on the, depending on the cargo so you'd get you would get given like if you're signing up and like going okay you're going to escort these guys you'd be given like a a rough worth of the You can delete that, please. <laughs> okay. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Carry on, Callum. Yes. You get What's the downsides of getting to the? Yeah. Um, no, I yeah. want to. I don't want to sign up for like getting a hundred gold. Put my life on the line for a hundred gold, and then get there and they're like, okay, cool, thank you. Here's five gold. No, bye. you'd get. You'd get at the. I'm gonna like, burn that city down. Yeah. On the on the like si signing up. You would be told like what the the worth of the job would be, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, like if we so let's turn to to Gorm and see. Uh, convey all really? this with a look. Yes, and I Star Wars nod back, and then I say, if they are indeed paying so much for our services, perhaps um better than to pay for transport. Yes, I agree. Not that I knew that you were doing that, but I suppose Not I assume. Assume. Well, I mean, you could probably see where I was walking to. Yeah. Um, which is maybe like right across from the notice board, right? Because obviously yeah. people would come and travel, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, makes sense. It's probably only like across the road. I've probably so, gathered enough information from talking to people to know roughly where things are as well now. Also, because you played Didn't next I? to the notice board and were staring at it the whole time. Yeah. The coach place is probably right. Yeah, right. But like in general, <laughs> like I probably have a knowledge of where things are in the time. But remember, we, we, we schmoozed people, remember? So we, we know. The people but at the time. Know. Yeah, no, between the two of you, because you took it in shifts, from what I so remember. So, we both, oh. we both smoothed people, but it was just because I went and walked around to solidify what they told me, so I knew for definite where things were. That's why I walked around. But they did give us, like, rough directions. So, yeah, you got that, too. Um, but, yeah, I think I'm I'm all up for getting Peter Grant to go level up. So, yeah. Going to level up to... Because, yeah, I'm... 100% as this is as Ryan obviously Tilda doesn't yeah, yeah, see yeah. any of this um, Tilda's like I want to level up I'm like yes I think if we were paid for our services uh, in exiting this town we could at least pay for transport back here Indeed. when we are slightly more well to do um, I don't think I wish to leave this town for long we do need to return in case of X shield does take time and this Tizor I say very quietly does expect some form of an update, I would imagine, assuming we can find him again. I'll just look I at I assume it. you may be found in other cathedrals where they lie. I can just like think about that for a second. Or he'll be back here where he said he'd be. I really like the idea of like that was that that was Gorm trying to be mystical and wise sounding. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, I scratched I'll... my head back at your own wisdom. I don't know, it's just, I don't know, like, would it be weird if I scratched your ear? Like, is that too familiar? I don't know how I feel about that yet. Have, I, have we been familiar up until we kind of have been? Roll um, anim animal handling. I don't want to. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know, I think I would just maybe like rub your shoulder a little bit comfortingly and then I'll say I'll still inquire as to the costs and the arrangements and such of transport because 
knowing how the system works from city to city or town to town would be useful. And then I think I'll uh, leave you to whatever you're doing and still head to the coach place because yeah, I don't even need to have it a scene. I just go and get info about how it all works so I know if that makes sense. Yeah, um, and it's you know whatever you said, well, however many. What was the transfer oh, per the, mile price? I'm really three glad I left that open there. It was three copper per mile between towns. Three copper per mile. Um, so Within a city, it's only one copper. So you can go anywhere in the city for a copper. That's not bad. I wish that was all right, it works it? in real life, eh? Hey? I know, right? Um, but yeah, three copper per mile between towns. Three so... copper per mile. So, like, um, you, you kind of, like... Yeah, you kind of get told that the... the um, Pampai is, you know, about about thirty ish miles. We'll say thirty one just to be annoying. Um out of the city. Um so that Well you said it was what four days away, right? Four days away. Oh yeah, I did actually. Um Yeah. So if it's four days now. away, travel <laughs> about twenty miles a day. No. That's wrong. Uh, uh, well I, I think it's like sixty. A a trained walker can walk 26.2 miles in 8 hours. We don't need to take 8 hours. We could take longer to walk that. So 26 miles, and that is in 8 hours. So, uh, Or walk 20 to 30 miles in a day. So if it's oh, so 4 days away... Day, so it'd be 4 times that. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's a healthy person. That's a marathon trained person, right? That's not us. Yeah, so health, healthy me. person, what, like... Four days would be like eighty miles. Yeah, so like that's so, not too bad, right? So yeah, maybe maybe it's like eighty-five. I mean, if it was eighty, it's easier maths. But okay, eighty-five. Right. So that is twenty-four silver. So two point four gold. So two gold forty silver. Uh, two gold, forty copper, maybe. Is that right? Yeah. Two gold, four silver. I can't count. Would be our coach back, which is really fucking cheap. I think I'd still prefer the money and the potential knowledge. No, but we're being paid to go. Yeah. And to return, we just get a, a sweet ass mm. coach back. Yeah. With all, all our money. Yeah. I don't know how long it's going to take on the way there because if the caravan like breaks a fucking wheel or some shit like that, do you know what I mean? So, well, that's it, you know. You, you got to count for these things. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So yeah, I'm still going to inquire and all that nonsense and make sure I'm fully versed in how the buses work, essentially. Yeah. Um... And then you get like you get like the the timetable as well. Um, yep. It's arbitrary when the timetable is, but you know it's. Oh yeah. Um, you get you know it goes like. Nobody, it. Don't, nobody knows what a Sunday service is, but it's fine. Yeah. Uh, On the Sabbath. <laughs> On Chaos Day. Um. <laughs> <laughs> the tenth of. <laughs> the tenth of. Yeah. Um. So yeah, uh, and maybe maybe like the. Maybe the actual like um, sort of um, the library blows up, up and then it's the Eastenders <laughs> finale music. <laughs> um, yeah, the like the sign up place for um, uh, sort of escorting. Um, oh my! <laughs> oh, the sign, the escorting sign up place, um, the, the the guarding like sign up place for like traveling wagons and stuff is kind of maybe like a like maybe in the same building actually just like in a different room and um, for the thing they're all under the same umbrella they provide the the protection as well as the mm -hmm. the, the 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 coaches and stuff yeah i think yeah i'll walk back out speak to um gorm and say here is the information i learned and repeat it all to you and then uh, i'll say perhaps we should gather everyone i feel we should leave swiftly do you think you could encourage Talkshar to join us? Mm. I could try. I'll just smile. I have nowhere else to go, so I'm probably just going to stand there. Yeah, that's fine. Uh... <laughs> 
Emu. Um, yeah, I'll head over to the um, coaches. That's where Tilda said that she would be. I'm sure I've had a good read at the library. Yeah. Um, they've. Uh, I think I'm losing battle here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> not with you. Not with you, Emu. With the drawings. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, yeah, you just, like, head over. Maybe you kind of, like, catch up as, um, as, like, um, Tilda, like, leaves the, 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 the. So as I'm talking to Gorm. As you're talking to Gorm, yes. Yeah. Um, and, uh, so do, do you just kind of, like, head over, or do you, um. Just cartwheel over, yeah, it's fine. Casual. Emo's attitude. Emo, that's you're, oh. you're muted. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no I was, uh, just wanted to head over, catch up with them. Cool, cool. Um, and uh, before we like get into if you you wanted to say anything, we'll come back to that in a second. Um, Ovek, you you've kind of like battered through it. Probably, probably, um. Do you want to give me another um, smithing check to see like how long it's going to take to to get your shield sort of made? Yeah, I think it would like um, from like the the pace that you've gone at, it's probably going to take you about probably like just about just like just under a day to get it like done, yeah. done, done. Like you could like rush it and like um, not have it as like like well made in less time if you wanted um or you can you could so sort of like it. less ornate but still as functional yeah so like um so like yeah it would take the full day to get it like as you wanted it um yeah. um but like okay. it, it, like you know it would just be like basically as basic as a shield can can be like if you if you rush it um for the, the thing um, as far as I know, we don't really plan on leaving immediately, so no, yeah, I'm, that's, yeah. I'm just going to be building it to a decent degree, but trying to get it done within the day. Yeah, and uh, maybe maybe you kind of like uh, like attract like a like maybe like a couple of clients like come in and and speak to to Grugar about like various projects that they want done, um, and as they're kind of waiting, they're just kind of watching as this Goliath is. Just working away on this, on this shield, and you know maybe you, you gain like a couple of people going. Oh wow, okay, that's really impressive sight. <laughs> Big muscular being hammering metal. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh. So yeah, Digzy, Dig Dog Leo. Hello. Right. Well, oh, what uh... are you doing? Once, once, um, you know, sort of like Gorm's kind of turned turned away, spoken to Tilda, and then you 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 started to head off, didn't you, Gorm, to, towards to to try and talk to talk. Um, walk yeah. I probably waited a wee bit with Digzy to okay. let the highness mellow a bit before heading off. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, just. Strolling, strolling through, just uh, in, in, enjoying it a little bit more because we're high. Just making uh -huh. our way to, just making our way to tavern Aiden. Okay, so we you, are you are you following following Gorm then? Oh yeah. Oh wait, I, th I thought Gorm was following me, and we we're going to the pub. Sorry. Well, I, you I, know what? I, you, I, can, I, you can like it's, you're high enough to believe that. Like, let's, let's face it. <laughs> I'm high enough to believe that. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. Um, but uh, failing that, uh, is there any opportunity for me to uh, befriend a dog and take it with me on our travels? Well, get get your own dog meat. Uh, yes, I want a dog meat. <laughs> um, is there a pound in this town? Do you know what? Yes, for you, Diggory, there is. Um, Yay! As as you kind of like walk towards the tavern, maybe you kind of like notice the sign to like the local local pound, um, and you um, just kind of cut off there like really quickly. Maybe maybe you don't even notice um, Gorm. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you you kind of like walk up to the, walk up to the pound and uh, you you head in and um, 
Yeah, what happens? The, the guy standing there going, eh. Hello. <laughs> With bright red bloodshot eyes, I look him square in the face and go, Dog? <laughs> and he, he just goes, turns, looks at all the like dogs behind him and goes, Dogs? <laughs> so I turn around and I, I, I admire the dogs, see what there is. There yeah. are, like, there. I think there may be, like, only three dogs there. Um, a, Like, one of them is, like, there because the family is on holiday. And there's a sign that specifically says that. Um, okay. Okay, and what it, else we got? It's, like, a very well-kept, like, um, sort of, a, like, terrier-type dog. Um, In the cage, kind of next to it, um, there's a, a sort of malamute type looking dog and the cage next to that I love them yeah imagine like a big husky essentially Um, I think that will you should turn out I have a blacksmith like that (laughs) just like that yes (laughs) (laughs) also that's really nice art (laughs) does that make me a furry no Um, it just makes you an appreciator of uh... fine art (laughs) Um, yeah, so there's the Malamute, and then in the, the one next to it, there's like um, just kind of like a shaggy, disheveled dog. It's like, oh! <laughs> his tongue's like hanging out. One ear is like up, and the other one's like flopping over its face. Is this an, any indication of the weather around us? Okay, so uh, I can have this big, beautiful Malamute, or I can have a massive, wonk eyed runt as it were yeah i think you know what i want um <laughs> uh the the guy Maybe like call. a runt the guy like Maybe you call. know what the guy just goes oh i see you've taken a liking to borkers borkers <laughs> and he just looks at you and goes bark <laughs> i love him already and um the, the the guy just goes, Do you know what? You can just have him, just take him. He's he's he does my head in and he just opens the cage and uh Borkers just like runs like like what upon the cage opening Borkers just runs in a circle and then sits down. I, well I'm 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 going to give Borkers half of my sausage. Oh my <laughs> oh, No Do you wanna roll like animal handling? Oh, I feel like no. that's that legitimate animal handling role. <laughs> okay, okay, here we go. Uh... Wow. I'd like to use my inspiration, Mr. Um, <laughs> you, you can't use it no. after you've rolled, unfortunately. Um, okay, do you know what? Um, I think like you, you go to like rip like half like the, the sausage and you like hold it out for Borkers to get it. Borkers just like runs at you and grabs the other half out of your other hand. Okay, and fair then, enough. Like in the shock, you maybe drop the other half, and he eats all your sausage. Okay, here we go. I've, I've lost my sausage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just for clarity on that, it's you get to roll twice and take the better result. It's not a reroll. There's very little that gives you rerolls in D and D, sadly. Ah, fair enough. Okay, how do I yeah. get rid of an item in my inventory? That would be kind of game breaking, though. Re-roll. Hey, yeah, just play a divination yeah. wizard and just enjoy all of the rerolls. Yeah, with the lucky feet. It'd be funny if you took a like a actual halfling rogue or something, rather than a half orc barbarian trying to be yeah. a halfling rogue. And uh, yeah, and um, at that point, like Borkers just stands up and just like walks, just out the gate and just carries on walking. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna chase after him, just grab him. <laughs> um, do you can you kind of just chase after him and then like do you know what, you you kind of get your arm like under under its belt and it, it just kind of just goes a high orc chasing a dog ruined the time. Yeah. <laughs> orc, um, orc, orc, orc. Um, you, you pick him up. He goes. He goes like really like just floppy and just like just accepts you picked him up and like just goes orc. <laughs> yes, that is all Vic. Okay, fair enough. I'm now going to wear this dog around my neck as it's just floppy. <laughs> just yeah, he just there. he just kind of sits there, um, just and just like occasionally barks. <laughs> I love him. Um. So yeah, you you leave the pine, you head back. Maybe maybe um, do you just head back to the tavern as well? Yeah, I'm just gonna head back to the tavern with the dog cool. now. <laughs> um, 
Gorm, as you walk into the tavern, uh, you can see uh, there's a couple couple of carpenter ladies kind of just sorting out the mess um, of the bar, kind of like fixing the bar up um, as you walk in. Hmm. Nice. Um, the 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 older of the two is uh, just kind of kind of uh, barking orders or barking orders at um Bark. at the younger one, um, and like getting kind of frustrated that she's like you know put like the maybe like one of the legs kind of like upside down or like the wrong wrong way or whatever and just like just almost needlessly um getting on at her, but yeah. Um, as you do that, so like, what do, do you kind of like? Is this the younger one in her twenties? Uh, sure, she's twenty-one, but you don't she know that. Hot? That's subjective. Does she like furries? Who knows? I was gonna say that's meta knowledge. That's meta knowledge. Glasgow. <laughs> hey, potentially legal child woman. Do you like me? <laughs> gestures to self tries to move costume <laughs> stuck on that's all in character okay hmm. um, she just, one of my like, things up. I took one of my flaws was I'm a sucker for a pretty face so oh okay that, yeah. <laughs> okay yeah no she's, she's got like a reasonably pretty face um, or you think so anyway um, I think she just looks at you like Kind of not knowing what to say and goes, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm working, <laughs> and just carries on. I don't take it very well, and I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm famous, you know. I'm the man in the sign, the, the sign. Yeah, 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 sign man, cool. And she like carries on like um, like maybe maybe like hammering like a nail into a bit of wood. Because that's what carpenters do. Well, we've definitely got a season finale wedding planned. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> it's the long game. Um, yeah, I think at this point maybe Dig Dog Leo comes back with um, with uh, borkers around his neck. Does he see my rejection? I think he just sees you kind of like going, I'm famous! I'm famous! And that's, that's when Dig Dog Leo kind of steps in. And just says, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Bork? <laughs> <laughs> Bork. Um, oh yeah, beat workers. <laughs> workers and orcers. Cool. Um. So are are you heading up to, or well, as as you've like, if you like, scan scan around, you see talk isn't in the. Yeah. Downstairs. Obviously, I would have said if he was. But... I think I take a moment to get over my loss of charm, and realize he's not here and go upstairs to where the room should be or he might be uh-huh yeah do you like do you chap on the door or do you just like walk in or i think i just walk in yeah he's um he's you you walk in and you see talk kind of kneeling at the side of his bed looking like he's praying well still still meta knowledge but meta knowledge yeah um and you, you can kind of hear him muttering like um, like sort of like you couldn't tell what he was saying. It was just like it's like that. Um, okay. <laughs> is Dick Doglio with me? Dick Doglio, are you? Are you? Did you follow yes. him up the stairs? Yes, yeah. Yes. Yes. I think as you like go up the stairs, and um, Barker's jumps off your shoulders and just kind of like Starts sits down next me. to the bar. Okay. Fair enough. Um, can I do detect magic? Uh, yes, yes, if you can, if you wish. Doesn't require a spell slot for me. Like, like I can just do it. Okay. So what do I do? Cool. Um. So, well, give give me the picture. What you're what you're doing is you're trying to like basically see all like the I'm magical. Just... Yeah, I know, I know, like from the past that he's uh, he's he's a powerful guy, and he's obviously he's got something to do with Gaia. 
and I, I know that I notice he's praying, so I just put two and two together. I, I just sort of try and sense if he's doing anything that perhaps I could replicate myself, or if, yeah, yeah. if there's anything um, going on. So I think maybe as you're kind of like quizzically like going, oh, I wonder if I can like sense what he's doing, and maybe you kind of like think back to when you were kind of like you've had that, you know, you had that like tingling sensation in your nose when you were, um, oh, thanks, Ryan. Um, when you, uh, thank you. When you you smelt that sort of magical aura, even though you didn't know it was magical aura, um, you kind of try and replicate that. And then what you do is, I think you feel like this this power, and it's obviously that that warmth of the power of like Gaia uh, flowing through you. And then you like open your eyes and you you see the magic in the air, in the world, and like within you know, 30 feet of you. <laughs> um, and you see there's, like, a lot of, like, um, there's a lot of sort of, like, residual, like, magic kind of, like, lying around, like, surrounding talk, but it's not, like, coming from him, if you know what I mean. Like, he doesn't seem to be, like, encanting, like, a spell or anything, or mm. um, calling upon, like, the power of the gods or anything. He's just kind of, like, seems to just be sitting there praying. But there seems to be like, like sort of like residual magic like thingy, and as you kind of like look around, there's no, like any sort of magic around. Um. Um. Could I like try and replicate the the, the feeling I've got, and like send it towards talk as like a way of. Letting him know I'm there, rather than just saying hello, like sending him, sending him a wee wave of magic. Okay. Yes. And mechanically, what are you trying to do? <laughs> just so I know. Uh, just because he's communing with Gaia, I'm trying to like, as a friendly hello, replicate that magic feeling in his direction from me. I think what Callum means by that is what ability are you using to send magic to yes. him? No, what's the narrative? That's what it means. Yeah. I don't know actually. I don't I don't know. Because I think you have something that you can do that with. Like well you can you can like communicate to him with, I believe. Do you? Or is that yes. Character? Can I do that? Yeah, so like you kind of like cast like your mind out and like just say to him. Well, what do you say? Um, Did you say you can see him? Sorry. Hmm? Yeah, I've walked into, yes, I've no, walked he walks into, into the room. room yeah. Right, okay, he's, cool, he's, perfect. I must have missed that, I was fine. Oh, yeah, he's, he's still praying by the side of the bed. I just barged in and he's praying. Um, Smacks him with a door. <laughs> <laughs> I only meant to blow the bloody doors. <laughs> um, I guess I, in in the, I try and replicate the the feelings I've felt from Gaia, and I'd say to him that we we were planning to move out, and we were going to go to level up to down the road. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Pampai, um, I believe it's called. Level three Berg, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> level twenty Berg. <laughs> yeah, and just that he couldn't convince us to stay, but that I wished him to come with me, and you know, I needed his help, something like that. Yeah. Or that I'd appreciate his coming with. Um, I think as as you do that, um you hear talk audibly just go and then continue to like mutter his his prayers <laughs> big dog leo you hear that as well you hear like basically you see um i guess you see gorm just stand there 
I am kind of stare yeah. at this. Maybe uh, do you have your eyes closed when you're doing this? Like how how does that how does that look, um, Gorm, when you when you kind of cast your mind over to? to it definitely doesn't him. have his eyes closed. Oh no, he has his eyes open because you have to see. It. <laughs> but yeah, um, how how does it look? Sorry. Um, <laughs> like outwardly, my eyes are purely focused on him, but there's like a glaze over them, as though I'm thinking, like daydreaming. Yeah. Cool. So really, what what you see, um, Dig Dog Leo, is a uh, tabaxi um, intensely staring at this praying man, and then the praying man going, uh, and then continuing to mutter his prayers. Do I just do, do, do I do I to say again my uh, my catchphrase for this game it would seem? <laughs> 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 oh my god. Oh, what? what the <laughs> fuck is that? <laughs> is that oh my, my eyes god. or Tox's eyes? <laughs> I think it's Ovex reaction, right? Because of the whole, you know, running joke about his ass. <laughs> oh dear. My ass is mountains, not jiggly eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, that's not good. <laughs> Just an extra camera. <laughs> okay, so yeah, Dick Doglio, how are you responding to that seeing as um as um Mangy's microphone has died? <laughs> Quite literally by saying, What the fuck? Okay. Um <laughs> What is this gift? <laughs> oh Jesus. Right, I need to like switch to a different screen. This is horrific. <laughs> it's so hypnotizing. It is, and it's just like drawing me away from everything else. <laughs> Um, hello. hello. Oh, hello. You hear me? There we go. Yes. yes. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I'm just using my laptop. So. Okay, I'm gonna so just turn you down a little bit. Um, turn down for what? Cool. Yeah. So, Mangi, that happens. <laughs> um, you you kind of maybe you snap out of like communicating when Dig Doglio shouts, "What the fuck?" And you, you, maybe that's the first time you kind of notice him like with you presently, like properly. Um, can I move to the front? I assume he's like praying in the opposite direction. Like maybe he's facing a window and praying. So he's like at the foot of his bed, facing his bed. So if you think the bed is slightly to the right of the window, and the window is there, he's at the foot of his bed. Um, can I like come round to the way he's facing and have a look at his face? Yeah, yeah. Um, so as you kind of like come round and um. Maybe you kind of kneel down, like next to the bed, like facing the wall. Both well, um, eyes are mesmerizing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not even sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, so you kind of like turn out and look at him, and you see like he's like his eyes are wide open, and he's like intent, he, like wide, wide open. Uh, it seems to be a theme. Is he drooling at all? <laughs> no, no, he's just he's <laughs> continuing to like mutter like some form of words. Um, they 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 don't sound like words. It's just literally like, uh, and on his forehead you see kind of like carved, um, uh, like with blood, um, the letters L H. Does he still have his wounds? Um, he's wearing clothes, different clothes. You don't see that. Um, but I think we'll we'll stop there. Dun dun dun. dun 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 and dusted way hey. yeah how much percentage wise did we get through of your plans the... um oh. zero this is like point five <laughs> um but that was that was i really got not gonna lie i found that really fun breakfast fiasco yeah i really like that so yeah um <laughs> what are you what are you wanting to do you still want to... 100 the breakfast club for me it, yeah i like that was... <laughs> it's still it's still yeah. that's what i had there. in my head the breakfast club um yeah let me just scroll all the way back up to it yeah there is oh anyway I, I know I just finished, but if it's alright with you, I'm, I'm going to go and get something to eat and speak to my father for a little while. That is totally that's fine. Right. Well, yeah, if he said no, like, no. Where do we go there? 
<laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Well, thank you, Diggy, for for joining. Thank you, thank you for hosting as always. <laughs> to be continued. Yeah. <laughs> to, to be continued, like fucking end of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> 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 you took a roundabout.